I see the recording sign is on, so I gather it's time to welcome you to the 2022 OpenCast Summit. My name is Olaf Schulte from ETH Zurich. For those of you who don't know me, I have a couple of colleagues from the board here, and I have a couple of colleagues who were kind enough to organize this event. And one of them is our virtual host, Rüdiger Rolf from the University of Osnabrück, and he's the one I'm going to pass it on to for a welcome and some housekeeping, I guess. Rüdiger, please. I must say, I guess we do not have to do too much housekeeping here. So, yeah, um, welcome to the Opencast Summit from my side, too. Um, yeah, we are only a virtual host of the conference as... Um, by organizing this event, it was easiest to use the infrastructure of the University of Osnabrück. Um, and yeah, um, as you see, we have two rooms um, where we have the conference on. This one where we decided only to have one uh, track of for all talks during this three days, because uh, in the past events, especially for the digital events, we got the feedback. It is um, easier and um, better for the people not to have many things they would uh, like to attend simultaneously. So um, we shortened a few talks, but in general, we made it possible to have these uh, during these um, three days, all of them during these three days. And uh, the other point is simply uh, we um, just after this uh, talk will have an a session where we uh, determine dates for the workshops that we are planning uh, in the next days. Again, we wanted to take advantage of um, um, the format we have with online um, uh, conferences now to say, okay, why should everything happen during these three days? Uh, we give you the opportunity to vote on this, but I guess Dani will explain more later on. Um, yeah, and as I said, we have two rooms. The other one is uh, the one where you can go during the breaks or whenever you want. The other run room is not recorded, and you have full presentation rights if you might need it to share your screen or anything else. And go there, and if you feel that there's something you'd like to discuss with others during the conference, and... Um, um, yeah, feel free to use this opportunity also because that's, again, something you might miss on such a digital event to grab somebody uh, during the coffee break and ask the person a question that you are on subjects you are interested in. But uh, you probably know how to write private messages here in the chat if you find that somebody wrote, uh, talked about something interesting and ask him to go over. Um, yeah, um, as I said, we have uh, three more or less full packed days. It was hard to uh, fit in some breaks, but we at least managed to have two breaks uh, for 50 minutes a day. And um, yeah, I guess from my point of view, this head would be the housekeeping. And um, Olaf, do you have a few more uh, welcoming words or do we have to fill in the next 10 minutes? <coughs> You know, with, with me in a panel, you don't have to fill anything up because I always uh, tend to say a, a couple of words at least. But before I do so, are there any questions in the context of the program you are looking at? So does anyone see issues of sessions colliding? Anyone doesn't see what uh, he or she would have expected to see. That doesn't seem to be the case, correct? As far as I can tell from the chat. So just a, a few words from, from my end in that um, I go back to 2020 and that is actually my, my starting slide from, from the 2020, I think it was the, the DACH meeting later in the first pandemic year and uh, the same 
slide I had when we uh, virtually met in Graz, I think it was in 2021. And I presume that, um, and I hope that most of the things that uh, uh, are being said on this slide are still uh, very much determining your reality, like many other higher institution institutions uh, uh, today, that uh, Opencast has proven to be a scalable and flexible solution for your requirements, for the changing requirements you met. met and uh, that uh, these uh, changing requirements, amongst these changing requirements, live streaming certainly plays an important role. Opencast Studio might be. Uh, a requirement that you have been able to meet uh, with with Opencast and uh, Big Blue Button in particular will be a focus of our attention uh, during this summit certainly and from an Osnabrück perspective uh, especially in in this year. Uh, however some of the things that I think have, sorry for the mess here, um, sorry uh, that we have seen throughout the last year is that while local issues um, have been determining activities in the Opencast community throughout 2020 very much. Uh, we saw uh, a sort of return to the community in 2021. Uh, we had a, a rather high willingness to participate in the crowdfunding campaign especially and also the number of releases, not only those due to security issues, but the number of releases in general were, were pretty positive in this context. And we also saw a number of institutional projects, like the uh, project Daniel is going to present, I think today, from uh, Northern Australia and Germany, uh, were uh, getting clearer and clearer and emerging as an active part of the community. At the same time, I think that for many of you, the uh, post-pandemic requirements are about to emerge. Um, so I think that was a large degree of uncertainty uh, at the start of the year, but uh, towards the end of the year and certainly in 2022, uh, institutions are beginning to shape uh, the so-called new normal. And uh, in that context, Opencast hopefully will be able to, to be part of that solution at your specific <coughs> um, uh, setting in, in, in the context of, this, of these requirements. One thing I would like to stress, and, and certainly something that, that uh, is a focus uh, in the community uh, for the last couple of months, has been accessibility. The fact that most institutions uh, have to provide uh, access uh, to these resources uh, in, a, in a way that is suitable for everyone, uh, which today even goes beyond transcription. So we also are looking at the various tools like the video player and, and the other elements uh, when dealing with, with video resources, whether they are accessible or, or not. And you will hear about some of these aspects in, in the context of this uh, summit also. So it won't surprise you that uh, most of these things are <clears throat> um, part of uh, the board goals in, in 2022. Um, so uh, this is what the board uh, will be focusing on for the next uh, couple of months. And you will be able to hear more details uh, about this on Thursday during our uh, open board meeting. I think it's at 2.15. That should be uh, central time. And uh, obviously, you are invited to join us there and ask us any question you have. And that's it from me already. Uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for, for uh, participating in this uh, summit by, by contributing. And I hope that uh, you have a great summit, despite the fact that it's yet again a virtual one.